coolest things about planet Earth is just how many beautiful minerals and gemstones are hidden below the surface. Time, heat, and pressure combine to create stunning gem specimens that have fascinated and inspired human civilizations for thousands and thousands of years. But what about gemstones that are formed thanks to intense heat and pressure that comes from the sky? Today, we're talking about impactite and tektites. It's easy to forget sometimes, but our planet is constantly barraged by dust and other particles crashing down from space. More than 100 tons of space dust land on Earth every day. But occasionally, a good-sized chunk, and yeah, that's a technical term, of a meteoroid will survive the rough passage through the atmosphere and make contact with Earth's surface. Any meteoroid that survives that journey and hits the Earth is called a meteorite. And sometimes those meteorite impacts create a kind of impactite called tektite, natural glass. Tektites are formed through the physical impact of the meteorite, creating such instantaneous heat and pressure that the surrounding rocks and soils instantly melt. This is called a shock melt. Most of the time, the meteorite doesn't totally fuse with the ground. Oftentimes they vaporize or shatter due to the shock of the impact. The glass is what is created closer to the center of the impact. Farther out, the rock may not be completely melted, leaving pieces within the molten flows creating breccias. The impact causes this liquid glass to splash outwards, where it's cooled at different rates. The chaotic nature of tektite formation and different rates of cooling results in a lot of fascinating shapes. You can find tektites shaped like teardrops, discs, rods, and even dumbbells. Tektites are a natural glass, possibly subobsidian. They're amorphous, meaning they lack a crystalline structure, and the size can vary widely. There are tektite specimens smaller than one millimeter, but others that are nearly 20 centimeters in length. Unsurprisingly, tektites are found strewn in strewn fields, the places where meteorites have impacted and flung the molten material long distances. Tektites can be colorless gray, black, yellow, and green. There's one particular kind of tektite that's making a big impact in the jewelry trade, moldavite. Made mostly of silica, moldavite sometimes appears as a gorgeous green thanks to aluminum and iron oxides. This is a rare gem and highly prized. In fact, this variety of tektite is found only in one place in the world, in the region of Moravia in the Czech Republic. Moldavite was created by the impact of a meteorite that hit Bavaria, Germany 14.6 million years ago. We're talking two different countries here. Wow. What a hole. The Norlinger Rice Crater site in Bavaria is over 250 kilometers away from the Moldau River region in the Czech Republic. So obviously, tektites can be flung a great distance from where they originally formed, but impactites are the rocks and minerals directly underneath or impacted by the meteorite. The impact rock, suvite, was formed during the Rice Crater impact, but unlike moldavite, it's a rock, not a glass, and found much closer to home. Several buildings, churches, and even parts of the city wall in the town of Norlingen, Germany, are made from suvite. Impactites are found in very localized and specific locations. For example, one famous kind of impactite is Darwin glass. This greenish impactite formed about 800,000 years ago and can only be found near Mount Darwin, down in Tasmania. If you head far north to Siberia, you can find Tagamite. It's near the Papagai Crater, an impact crater that's over 60 miles in diameter. And in Kazakhstan, the Zamanshin Crater is home to Zamanshinite, a glassy black or mottled impactite that's three centimeters or larger. Then there's Libyan Desert Glass. The impact site that created Libyan Desert Glass is still unknown, but the glass is found in a wide swath of North Africa from Western Egypt to Eastern Libya. That region, by the way, is also known as the Great Sand Sea, so you can see why it's difficult for scientists to find the exact impact site. Even the date of the impact is unknown, but most believe the meteorite hit the region between 26 and 29 million years ago. But no matter when it happened, the dunes were there during impact. Libyan desert glass is made mostly of the melted desert sand that was almost entirely made of quartz grains, resulting in pure silica glass, or le chatelierite. Have you ever found specimens of impactite or tektite? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe. For more information on the topics we discussed today, check out the links below. Thanks for watching.